Well, we welcome in the offensive lineman out of Cedar Falls, Iowa, Jake Peters. Thanks for joining us. Congratulations. You're officially a Husker. How does it feel that I know this can be a process, but to, to have signing day here and to actually make it official, how does it all feel? Yeah, it feels amazing to be a part of uh, Nebraska and to officially call myself a Nebraska Husker. Uh, and I'm super excited to be a part of uh, Coach Rule and Coach Rayola's uh, football team. That's awesome. Well, take us through your decision. Um, I know that you were kind of waiting on a Power 5 offer, and then it came in, but how you landed on Nebraska, how you felt like it was the right fit for you? Yeah, so during the summer, I was going into football camp season without really a Power 5 offer, and then Nebraska calls me and uh, invited me to go to their camp, and so I thought that was a pretty good opportunity, and I thought I had a chance to get an offer, so I w went into camp. Uh, camps pretty well, and then really liked how Coach uh, Rayola was coaching there and how he coaches. Um, and then after that camp, they decided to offer me. And then uh, obviously super excited to get offered by a place uh, with the history that Nebraska has. Um, and then I decided to set up an official visit the next week uh, just so I could get to know the coaches, get to know the campus and all that stuff a lot more. So then the next week I went on my official visit there, um, and it just felt like home. I got to spend some time with the offensive linemen, and I'm just super pumped to be able to uh, be around those group of guys because everybody around there talks about how close mm -hmm. that offensive line room is. And so I'm really excited to be a part of that and just be a part of a big friendship. And it's really a family there, and so I really want to be a part of a family. That's amazing. You know, the coaching staff has, has talked about how important the camps are going to be. And so for someone like you, how good is that to be able to have that opportunity to go earn an offer and to, to be able to maybe catch some eyes in a way that maybe you hadn't had that opportunity before? Yeah, that was a super special opportunity. It's kind of those ones that you dream about as a kid. You go to camp, coaches really like what you did there. And then you get to go to the head coach's office and they offer you right there. I mean, that, that was a dream come true. And so that's super special. And it just holds true, like, to what they said. I can be an example for those kids to come to show why you want to perform well at camps and what the coaches can do for you if you perform well. Oh, that's awesome. What did you feel like you did that, that caught their attention there at that camp? Uh, I just tried to be myself. Uh, co my coaches tell me to just try and be the best high school athlete that I can be. So I just tried to showcase that at that camp, and I just tried to put my best foot forward, and I think I did that, and they saw that and liked what they saw. You know, every offensive lineman that we talk to, whether it be the guys that are already here playing for Coach Rayola or the ones that are committing to play for Coach Rayola, have mentioned that family aspect of it and how close-knit and tight-knit that group is. What does that mean to you as an off offensive lineman? How important is it to have that close-knit type of feel as an offensive line group? Yeah, that's super important. I can already feel it. Like, they had us go to the, one of the volleyball games after a football game, and I got to see Ben Scott and Nuri Nuwili there. And I just started talking to them like I had known them for, like, a few years. I mean, those guys are great, and I just enjoy every second I get to talk with them. And also, you can see the family aspect just with the commits right now. I mean, every Saturday I'd go to, or I'd go to their home games, and I'd just pick up right where I left off with all the guys. Uh, I think we're probably one of the tightest uh, classes uh, in the country. And I think that's super attractive for other people to see, just how close-knit people are, because that's what people want to be a part of. They want to be a part of a family. Very cool. You said you like Coach Rayola and his coaching. What is it about him that you wanted to be coached by him? Yeah, I just really love the style that he coaches with. Uh, when I first had that official visit, Ethan Piper was my player host. And I kind of asked him, like, hey, what do you think of Coach Rayola? And the first thing he, he told me was he's a father figure. And just so how he takes those guys under his wing. And he really preaches that he wants his offensive line room to be a family. And how he wants their guys to always be hanging out with each other. And uh, Coach Rayola also talks about how he wants his guys to see him as just a regular guy, too. He doesn't want them just to see him as a coach. He wants to see him as just a normal guy, too. So you had some offers from some pretty impressive schools with high, high academic standards, not easy to get into whether you're playing football or not. 
How important is the academic aspect to you, and why is it important to you? Yeah, that, that's super important to me because it sets up my future. Uh, football only lasts a certain amount of time for everybody, no matter what level you play to. And so as long as I can just keep my academics uh, and keep working hard in the classroom, that'll translate over onto the football field. Uh, and that's just kind of how I take everything. I just want to do everything to the best of my ability. And so that's why I work super hard in the classroom. So your dad played college football at South Dakota, right? Was an All-American. How yep. big of a role did he play in who you became as a football player? He played a massive role in who I am today. I mean, not the football player mm -hmm. on the field, but just the person I am today. Uh, I look up to him every day. He's just a humble person uh, who had some pretty impressive accomplishments as a football player, but you wouldn't be able to tell off the field. He just carries himself super well. Um, but also, he inspired me to become a college football player. He talks about all the stories off the field that he just enjoyed being a part of a football team. And so I w really wanted to be a part of that. And so he just was a big role model for me to play football. And he also showed me what hard work it looks like. He grew up in a small town where nobody really recruited him that much. And then so he went to South Dakota and was a true freshman there. He was, I think he was bottom of the depth chart when he got there and just put his head down and worked and worked and worked until he got his starting spot. That's awesome. What a cool story. So he played defensive lineman, right? Right? Yep. How did you become an offensive lineman then? Yeah, I don't know. He always tells me that I have better feet than he did. And so <laughs> he always would tell me that I'm going to be an offensive lineman just because of my feet. But, yeah, he was super quick as a defensive lineman, so I get a little bit of that from him too. So did you have any choice to, to play football? I guess it sounds like your dad probably didn't push it on you or didn't make you play it. How would you find your own love for it? Yeah, I just love football ever since I was a kid. I just love playing sports. I'm a competitive person. Um, it doesn't even have to be sports. I'm always trying to compete with people. And so I just found the love for football. I love the physicality aspect of it. I love the team aspect of it. You know, football is one of those sports where not one guy can take over the game. All 11 people matter. And if one guy screws up, well, it's not going to work out very well. And so I think that's super cool to be a part of. Very cool. So what, what are kind of your plans? You're going to finish out your uh, high school basketball season, but what are some of the goals for yourself before you get here in the summer to be able to come ready to roll? Yeah, I've already been talking with Coach Rayola about different things that I'm going to do in the off season, different drills that I'm going to be working on uh, because they want me at center, and that's a new position for me. So I'm just going to be – working on that. Um, I just want to, like I said earlier, I want to be the best high school athlete that I can possibly be. So I'm going to work hard in basketball. And then I also throw shot and discus for track. And so that I'm looking forward to doing that as well. So uh, I, I read a, a cool story that your family and your sister came with you on your official visit and she's going to Iowa. And even when yep. she came here to Nebraska, she said it feels like home. Can you tell us uh, that story and, and how much that meant to you to have your family feel like it was home too? Yeah, that was a really cool experience. It was the first night of our official visit. We came back to the hotel after touring campus and doing all that stuff. And we just kind of all looked at each other and knew that this was home for me. My sister smiled and just said, I can understand why you like this place so much. And she knew it was right for me because we've grown up together our whole lives together. Um, and so she knew what was right for me. And that was just, just a great feeling to have is that it's going to be home. Oh, very cool. Okay, I got some fun questions for you. Let Husker fans get to know you a little bit. Who was your favorite player or athlete growing up? Growing up, I think my dad's a Cowboys fan. And so he would always tell me the stories of when they were going to win all those Super Bowl titles. And so Larry Allen was actually my favorite player growing up, just to see how strong he was, how good he was at the offensive line position. And so that's the guy that I love to watch. Awesome. What's your favorite hobby outside of football outside of football i love to fish uh, my dad does fly fishing up in northeast iowa uh, he ties flies and goes out there for seven hours on a day so I'll, sometimes i'll go up there and do that with him and then we got some great rivers around here and so i love to get out and fish so you're gonna have to find a spot to come fish in here in lincoln huh oh, i'll have to get get those spots found uh, that's awesome okay favorite cereal Favorite cereal? I think I'll have to go with Reese's Puffs. I love those as a kid. I still have a bowl every once in a while, but yeah, <laughs> those are great. Uh, I love it. I love it. Okay. 
rank these cookies, all right, from first or from last to first. Chocolate chip, peanut butter, macadamia nut, or oatmeal raisin? All right. So last, macadamia nut. And then after that, I'll go peanut butter. And then oatmeal raisin is going to be the second best. Because my grandma makes some great oatmeal raisin cookies. And then number one's chocolate chip. It's just the basic. It's always good. So I think I'll go number one chocolate chip. Oh, I love it. I love it. All right, Jake Peters, appreciate your time. Congratulations once again. Can't wait to see you here on campus in Lincoln. Appreciate you having me. Thank you.